My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is October the 2nd, and we are looking forward to another wonderful day here at Unity as we have opportunity to celebrate communion together. This is actually World Communion Sunday, and so we'll be joining with Christians around the world celebrating uh, the Sacrament of the Lord's Supper this Sunday. And I know that you'll want to come and be a part. That'll be take place both here in the sanctuary at 8.45 and at 11 o'clock, our two regular worship services uh, this Sunday. If you are unable to be present in person, then plan to join us online. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, or on the church website, all ways in which you can be full participant online. Since we are celebrating communion, I do want to encourage you, if you're worshiping at home, to find some bread or some crackers and some juice or something that you might be able to use so that you can participate in communion at home as well. If you're here with us in the sanctuary, one of the special things about this coming Sunday with World Communion Sunday is that the bread that we'll be using was actually baked by the children of our congregation, those who participated in the Worship and Sacraments event a few weeks ago. We are excited that they'll also be a part of the Great Prayer of Thanksgiving, uh, as well as helping to serve. So it really will be a wonderful and unique and special day as we celebrate World Communion Sunday. So, uh, so join us uh, for worship, for sure. Um, also, join us for Sunday School. We've got our classes that are up and running now. There's a place for you to come and be a part of Sunday School at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings. Um, our small groups that are, are part of the new fall effort on finding unity in a divided world. Most of those groups are up and running, and we have a few who are starting this particular Sunday. So if you have not yet signed up to be a part of one of those groups, uh, then do find an opportunity to be a part of that important conversation as well. I think as I mentioned last week, mark your calendars for November the 13th, because that's will be a lunch after church to have a chance to talk about what we've learned through this experience of, of finding unity in a divided world. So be sure to keep an eye out and look for that as well. Um, youth group is in, um, in, in full force. Uh, also watch out for the scarecrow that our youth have done. That's a part of, um, of the scarecrow crawl in Fort Mill. So watch for more information about how to vote for that. Um, the Growing Christians group uh, for fourth and fifth graders is also available um, on Sunday afternoons. Uh, so a chance for them to have a special and unique time. Children's choirs, all those sorts of things. We're just excited about the ways in which God is doing so many amazing things here at Unity Presbyterian Church. Looking ahead also, uh, we are transitioning from our Dimes for Hunger special offering to our uh, food collection that we'll find um, as a part of sharing God's bounty. That's our special offering for the month of October. So, uh, so be sure to find more information about that. Uh, begin to bring your food items where we've got the uh, place in the hall um, all set up so you can drop them off there. Uh, and we can celebrate indeed the ways in which God has really blessed us and that we might share these blessings with others as well. Also, look ahead, Trunk or Treat's coming up too. You can sign up to be a part of that. That's going to be on Saturday, October the 22nd. You see this video is just as full of all these different ways in which God's alive and at work in our midst and the ways in which you can be involved and be a part. We look forward to seeing you soon. So God bless you, and we'll see you then.